Marty from Bauxite. Let's take a look at his question. He is a 45-year-old freelancer with an S corporation and wants to retire in 15 years, have $50,000 in savings, and now invest about $30,000 a year. What do you recommend? Well, Marty from Bauxite, we uh, are number one. Congratulations. You're in a great mm -hmm. uh, position to be saving a lot of money. And freelancer, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and make the assumption that he is a solopreneur. Uh, yeah. He doesn't have any employees. He works on his own. And that is a great opportunity for you to save and invest a ton of money. I want to uh, introduce something that is uh, an old, old type of retirement plan. It's very complicated. It's kind of expensive to put together. But for the right person, it is very well worth it. It's called a defined benefit plan. Let me let me pause you for a minute, though, because when you say it's expensive to put together, I feel like probably a lot of people just tuned out. But expensive relative to what? Yeah, because expensive relative to other types of retirement plans. But but when but, you when you've looked at this, like in recent times, people have saved multiple times uh, the cost of the plan oh, wait in 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 their taxes just right. on that given year so yes there is cost to it relative to other retirement plans but overall it is a significant savings that's right uh, to give you an example the last one of these that i worked for uh, worked on was for a client who had retired and began a consulting business he made about $200,000 in his consulting business. We ran the numbers, and he can shelter 120000 of that $200,000 from taxes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in the current tax year. It cost him four or $5,000 to set this thing up. The taxes on that $120,000 in his income bracket was going to be like forty five dollars or $50,000. By the time you combine state and federal. Yeah. So the net net savings on yeah. this was still very, very good. A defined benefit plan is somewhat complex, and you have to have some specialists to sit down with you and get it done. But the tax savings alone is worth it. So, And not to mention the ability to use that to save a lot more money for your retirement on a pre-tax basis makes it a no-brainer. John, talk about, I mean, obviously we know from Marty, he's a freelancer, so, you know, this could apply to him. For other people who are listening, how do they know if they might qualify for something like this? Yeah, it, the bigger your business is, the, the more expensive it is, not only in terms of setting the plan up, but what you've got to spend for your other employees. Right. So small businesses, small companies that have the ability to actually take off and do some good things with, mm -hmm. with what they're doing, uh, I think that those folks are the, the, the best uh, opportunities out there. I have worked with real estate agents. I've worked with physicians. I've worked with consultants. I've worked with a lot of solopreneurs, people that are just, uh, you know, one man banding it out mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. They do a really nice job in their work, but they don't really know an awful lot about saving money on taxes. And if you want to uh, kind of paint a picture of the proverbial sitting duck to yeah. the federal government, yeah. it is the solopreneur out there because you pay uh, taxes. If you're a high income earner, you pay a lot of taxes and then you pay both sides of Social Security. So you're looking for any kind of break that you possibly can get. And we have found that in certain cases, these defined benefit plans work out very, very well. Now, let me also say that there's a much more simple way to do some of this. The savings are not as great. Uh, the tax deductibility is as great, but you can't put as much into it. And that is an SEP or a simplified employer pension. That's just a different type of retirement program. Think about it as a jumbo IRA account mm -hmm. that a solopreneur or a small business can throw some money into. But there are always requirements that if you have employees, you have to do unto them in the same percentages that you do unto yourself. And so that makes the SEP a little bit more costly as far as the owner is concerned. But here's the key. We need to sit down and run the numbers and see what is best for you. It costs you nothing to, to just check it out. We can sit down and consult with you to take a look at what the possibilities are. And then the world is wide open as far as investments are concerned inside these plans. But the opportunity to save money on taxes is the real key here, Janet. And I think as you as you go through this and, and look at it, I think our call to action here would be simply to 
have people to call us if they feel like that they are a candidate for one of these plans, especially if you are a solopreneur or you only have a handful of employees, we can run the numbers and see if it's beneficial. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. You're killing two birds with one stone. You're saving a significant amount on taxes, and then you're also able to move yourself forward pretty measurably in terms of your retirement preparedness. And I think a lot of, you know, individual the uh, entrepreneurs who are just just solopreneurs, as we say, are thinking, I'm going to work until I don't, you know, like they're just going to work and work and work and work and work. The reality is you got to be ready in case you can't continue to do that. So the sooner you step in this direction, the sooner you put yourself in a position where you can pull the trigger on retirement at your convenience. Wow. Nailed it. That was kind of Scott Inman-esque. <laughs> How did you do that? 